Okay, the next step is to attach our purlin holders down to our rafters. Before we get started, we want to take into consideration which way our purlins are tilting. Here they're tilting back this way, so we're kind of pretending that we're blocking the, sh the sun from this direction. Okay, if you're unsure which way to tilt your purlins, please feel free to contact the team member and we'd be happy to help you out with that. So, once we know the, the direction our purlins are going to tilt, I want to double check a couple measurements. If you don't know your rafter length already, it's 120. Our purlin holder length is right at 116. So that means we're gonna have, this is four inches shorter, we're gonna have two inches here and two inches in the back. So we go ahead and we can set that down. Move it exactly to two inches and we're ready for fasteners. So go ahead and find your bag called Perlin Holder to Rafter. Put those in your pocket. And these Perlin holders are already pre-drilled, which brings up a really good point. Sometimes if you change the size of your pergola, you may need to trim these Perlin holders to fit. If you do that, that's not a problem. Just make sure that you're cutting between the holes so you don't end up with half a hole. So if you did cut off the front hole to mount the purlin holders down, use a 5 8 drill bit. You can just drill another one right back here. It won't hurt a thing. So assuming we're not doing that, we can fasten our purlins down, purlin holders down. One there. One there. And sometimes these holders can have a little bit of a camber to them. When you're fastening down the middle ones, you want to make sure to center that on the rafter. And you can go ahead and put in the plugs kind of as you go. From that point, you're going to want to attach the purlin holder on the opposite side of the pergola. Now, I already took the liberty of doing that. We're all set there, and I set it the same distance, two inches in from the outside edge of the rafter. Now, we're going to want to use our string line. And the string line is important because we want to make sure our purlin holders are perfectly lined up. That way when we get to the step of sliding in our purlins, there's no waviness. The purlins just go right in and it works out great. Clamp that there. And pull it nice and tight. and clamp the opposite side. So now we should have a taut line. And we bring our purlin holders right up to where we're almost touching the line. Again, make sure all the purlins are tilting the same direction before you screw these down. So they should line up perfectly. Then you go ahead and screw down all these purlin holders and you're ready for the next step, which is to install the purlins.